forward in this, in this in this segment. The doctrine of Balaam, Second Peter's two and fifteen. There's a note there for us with the Schofield Study um, uh, Reference Bible. Jude eleven. There's a note there as well. This was the teaching of Balak. Balak, right, to corrupt the people who could not be cursed, and this is in Numbers 31, verses 15 to 16, as well as Numbers 22 and 5, and Numbers 23 and 8. How could they, in other words, how could they corrupt the people? And see, before the 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 civil rights civil rights right movement and before the black people came down in Egypt and called the federal government mommy and daddy now they're calling it God right they're calling God the doctrine of Balaam again you, you understand and what is the currency what is the energy the currency money right well not even just money but the love of it that's why they can't use it a lot of them have money and stuff like that but they can't they, they can't do anything with it. they kill themselves with it by tempting them to marry women of moab right women of moab they defile their separation right and they abandon their pilgrim character now we're talking about our ancestors the beta is Arayel. You know, the, the black Hebrews, the Ethiopian Hebrews, speaking about the Bible, Old Testament, in the wilderness as we're in this new wilderness, right, in the, in the New Testament time, right, 400 plus years, the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full, and the Amorite also connects with the Anglo-European establishment. Now, this is not to be racial in that sense, because a lot of the Europeans also were sleeping, thinking they were better than black black folks until now they're doing the same thing to them and they're beginning to wake up job bless them for waking up and speaking up right and putting their you know lives on the line as it were it is that union of the world and the church which is spiritual unchastity or spiritual what we call as ratified fuckery or fornication according to James 4 and 4 now Pergamos Remember, there's the throne of Pergamos, Satan's seat and everything, which the Germans actually brought to Germany, and it's still there in Germany, and it's also the Germany with the UMG, Universal Music Group, that has sought to steal or control reggae music through, like, the Bob Marley music and everything, so if you put it up there in certain ways like we have, they block you, the corporate fascist um, media. But remember, Pergamos had lost that pilgrim character and was dwelling with where Satan's throne is in the world. Remember this, brothers and sisters, that whenever, right, we're going to go into just a little longer, this is going to be a, a, a longer segment right here. Whenever, you know, the whole thing about the good and evil thing, remember Adam, man, humanity was made in the image and after the likeness of the triune God, in spirit, soul, and in body, very good, right, very good.